Now let's take a look at the use of Luxor CRM for leads management. Leads can be created in Luxor in three different ways. The first is manually, so you go to Leads and click Add New Lead. You fill in the appropriate information and save and close, and it's created. Your leads can also be captured directly from your website. This is done through landing page integration, and it's set up under the Admin section. Under Web to Leads, you can create as many landing page integrations as you want. Whenever a new lead is brought into the system, Luxor first performs a duplicate check to ensure that the lead's not already entered. If the lead is already in the system, an activity will be created and the owner will be notified. So for example, if the lead requests a demo, the activity that will be created is demo request and whoever owns that lead will receive a notification either via alert or email or both saying that this lead has requested a demo. If the lead doesn't already exist, it will be entered into the system and it will be assigned to the appropriate salesperson that you've decided ahead of time. Let's make a form right now to see what it looks like. For the form name, I'm going to call this one demo request. The event type is the activity that will be created. So for this, we're going to select other and the user will assign it to Liz Henry. Down here, you can select what you want in your form and you can select what's required versus what's not. So I want to capture their first and last name that's going to be required in the company name. Since it's a demo, I need to contact them. So I'm going to make phone number and email required. And I would also like to know what industry they're in, but that's not going to be required. And also their country. So when my lead comes to the website and fills out this form, all this information is going to be auto-populated into the appropriate fields in Luxor. So I've made my form, I'll save and close. And here you can generate the HTML code to give to your developers for them to integrate it into your website. You can also preview it in the browser if you want. So this is what it looks like. This is the form I've created. Obviously, you're going to want to tailor it more towards your website. When someone arrives at your landing page and fills out this information, it will be captured. And when they click submit, it will be integrated with Luxor with the lead being created. The last way that leads are created in Luxor is being imported through databases. This is done under the admin section as well. It's set up under data transformations. Here for the import type, we would select leads and then we would upload the appropriate Microsoft Access database. You can import as many different databases as you want. Those are the three ways that leads are created in Luxor. Let's go back and take a look at managing information about leads. You can track whatever information you want about a lead. For example, the first name, last name, position, all the basic information. All of this is completely customizable, everything from the number of fields to the options in the field. So for example, the rating, we put hot, cold, warm, you can assign those whatever you want. Industry, you can add or take away industries or you can get rid of the industry field itself. You can customize as many tabs up here. So here we just have one tab for lead information, but you might have more. You might have another tab for secondary information. You might have other tabs for information that's not as important or that's not accessible by certain people in the organization. We've also added some shortcuts for ease of navigation. For example, this Google Maps icon, when you click it, it will launch Google Maps and it will take you to the address that you've inputted. If the address field is blank, it'll take you directly to the city. Over here, the mail client icon, when you click on it, it'll launch your mail client with the email address here. It will either open up your Microsoft Outlook or the Luxor mail client, depending on which one you've chosen. And down here, the web icon takes you directly to the web address. Here at the bottom, we can see all the appointments, to-dos, activities, and all the other information associated with the lead. The activities keep track of everything, including appointments and to-dos. Let's set up a new one. For example, let's say I had a really great meeting with this lead and I have to remind myself to schedule a follow-up. Here's the subject. The event type was an in-office meeting. I'll just add my comments. And then I have to schedule a follow-up. When I save and close this, Luxor pushes me to create a to-do. I assign a priority to it, it's high and then I can set whatever my due date is, and then I'll save and close that. Now, in terms of managing your leads, you can build as many different views for yourself as you like. So for example, I can see all my leads that are hot. I can see all the ones that belong to Sam. 
I can see all the ones that are located in Richmond Hill, who have not opted out of my newsletter, that are in the manufacturing industry, etc. So what you would do is over here, you could build or edit views. We'll add a new view. We'll give this view a name. Here is where you select all the fields that you want displayed in the view. And down here is where you choose what to filter by. You can filter by as many different criteria at the same time as you want. So for example, I can choose to build a view for certain leads that were created between a specific time period that are owned by a specific owner that have a specific rating in a specific geographical location, etc. There is no limit to how much you can filter by. For our view, let's take a look at all the leads that are in manufacturing located in Toronto. Industry, we'll select manufacturing. And then for city, we'll put like because some people might have misspelled Toronto or not spelled it with capital, etc. So we'll put like and save and view. And here's the view we built. Building custom views is really good for managing leads because it allows for more targeted marketing. For example, if you were running a campaign that was only applicable to manufacturing companies in Toronto, you wouldn't want to send it to everyone. What you would do is build this view, select all the records in the view, and go to Mail Merge. You select the appropriate template, put in the sender's address, and click Mail to Merge. And then all the people that have been selected will receive that piece. So that's leads management. Once a lead is ready to become an opportunity, all you have to do is open up the lead card and click add opportunity. To see more about opportunity management, visit the opportunity management tutorial. To learn more about Luxor CRM, please contact us today for a personalized product demo.